Well, it is not every day that we tout events happening in Huntsville, but this one is going to be big. I'd say worth the drive, and we're giving you plenty of time to get it on your calendar now. The guys of Due West are here to fill us in on the Songs and Stories of Dean Dillon concert. Welcome in. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks so for having much. us. Yes. Good to see you guys. This is big for you guys. You're going to be sharing the stage with some legends. Absolutely. Come on. George yeah. Strait, Vince Gill, Ronnie Dunn. Ronnie Dunn. <sighs> Some, wow. new, some new legends like Riley Green and uh, Ernest. Zach Top. Zach Top. Yeah. yeah. Wow, so the incredible. list goes on and on. What an event. Okay, and it's all to honor Dean Dillon. So tell us more yes. about it. So Dean Dillon is obviously everybody's hero, not just ours. Okay. And uh, we've actually got his support uh, being signed to his record label, Unwound Records. And it's an absolute honor to get to do that and to to rub shoulders with him and to be on this event, so we're super excited. We spent days and days and days in, in, at his house in Colorado and in Nashville and out in Florida and wrote so many songs for this record. And then we had to narrow it down to like, what, 12? <laughs> yeah. So it, it was hard. Tough. We, yeah. Very. I imagine. So we got to hear a little bit of the album. Let's take a listen to World Gone Wrong and we'll chat on the other side. I'm left living in a world gone Okay, can awesome. I just note how beautiful that background is where you shot that music video? And I hear it was shot in our backyard. It was. Yes. What about the foreground? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those three guys look pretty good, too. Oh. Steeplechase, yeah. right? It was shot at Steeplechase. That's I, right. I kind of picked that up right away watching it. I was like, oh, it looks really close. I got that was like 6 in the morning. Yeah, I was going to say, we got oh, up super wow. early, and our buddy uh, went out there and filmed that on his phone. Stun it. What? Yeah. yeah. Stop mm -hmm. it. That's impressive. Yeah. It's beautiful, though. Yes. And I love the song, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Nice classic country mm -hmm. sound. How does it make you guys feel about today's kind of modern country? We love it. There's, a, you know, nowadays country, there's, it's all over the place. You mm -hmm. know, it's a big genre. Mm -hmm. You got, uh, you know, the poppier stuff. You got the more Western stuff. But, you know, like Brad mentioned, w once we got to work with Dean Dillon, you know, if you listen to Dean Dillon's music, that's going to take it in a certain direction. Oh, yes. And uh, we were very happy to oblige. And so yeah. we, uh, we wrote this whole album with him, other than two songs that he wrote by himself. Um, and we, we love it. We're proud of it. So we, we were glad that you guys like it. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, we do. We love it. Now, you guys have been together for nearly two decades. How have you guys evolved together? I mean, I would imagine, usually they say when there's three, someone feels left out, <laughs> but you have made it work. Well, we make sure that one guy is always left out. <laughs> yes. so we sort of gang up, you know, and then, uh, and then it switches from day to day. You know? And we choose who gets to be left out. I'll say, I want to be left out today. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's usually the best way to go. I love it. This was a bond that was all formed at a house party, a Nashville house party, right? Take us back to that event. Whose was it? How did it unfold? Well, uh, our friend uh, by the name of Dan Truman is, is one of our heroes, too. He's in a band called Diamond Rio. Mm -hmm. And he's the keyboard player for Diamond Rio, and we grew up with that music, and you can tell with, uh, you know, being so country. Um, but he invited me separately to a party, and I know these guys were invited separately as well. I showed up there, and there's a room, kind of like in a family room, and uh, everybody's passing the guitar around, and you're, you're next, and you're singing your song or whatever. And it was, it was really fun. There was a lot of people there. But these guys were here, and... I, we started playing some old country music, stuff that we grew up with at the end of the party, and these guys started singing the harmony with me, and it was amazing. Everybody yeah. thought we were a band forever. They asked if we were brothers or whatever. And uh, long story short, I was working at the Opry Mills Mall, the Alabama Grill. I, I was managing that, uh -huh. and I needed somebody to play on weekends, so I hired our, my band. Ah, my new that band that out. I had just met, and that's how it kind of unfolded. Sounds yeah. like fate. Yeah. You know, I, I love to ask musicians, you know, who have been in the game for a while, how they feel about the changes that have happened within the country music world, and, uh, you know, what, what you hope to kind of keep the same today. Yeah. 
Well, so yeah, so 20 years ago, yeah, that's a long time, and it has changed a ton. Of course, we were four years old when we formed. That's right. right. And uh, you know, and we're excited to get to be 25. That's going to be fun. But no, it has changed a lot. I think the industry's changed a lot. Um, you know, the, like we mentioned a second ago, the genres spread a lot. I think there's a lot more room for a lot of different kinds of country music. But the one thing that hasn't changed is just people's passion and love for music. And, you know, the connection that people have with music. And so we've kind of been of the mindset of if the fans are connecting to it and if the artist is connecting to their art mm -hmm. as they create it, then then who cares really what, mm -hmm. you know, category you put it in. Um, there are definitely country artists, I'm sure, that get mad, oh, it's not country enough or it's too pop or it's this or that and the other. We, we, we're kind of a, hey, do what you, you know, Live and let live, kind of a thing. So love, love it. it. Yeah. Thank you guys Amazing. so much for sharing your yeah. story yeah. with Thank us. You. We appreciate it. Yeah. You're gonna have fun in Huntsville. That's yes. right. Oh, yeah. That show's Songs coming up in Huntsville, Alabama, October 9th, and you can check out Due West album Unbroken out now.